Sup, YouTubers. <laughs> All right, look at that face. You see that face? See that face? The child wants to see me. Ah, this is just immediately crying. Why? Box cutter, hi. 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 Yeah, am I crow closer to my costume? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not abandoning her. I should sit with her until she calms down. Dad! He hit me! He what? <laughs> Alright, gang. <laughs> gang, we have we have a heart to change. Gang, we, we gotta we gotta kill a dude. <laughs> Like a whole squadron. That's mean. Stupid meanie. All I did was ask why they're getting a divorce. They got mad at me and said to stay out of it. Oh, I kept asking, but Dad yelled at me and horrible too i don't know if they love me anymore you're my child now do they just wish i would disappear all right i know i want her to have a positive outlook i, I want to be like no you're loved you're not an undesirable child it's fine, you know? They would never, but also it, it's like your parents sound like terrible people and I want to adopt you. Never. But then why do they get so mad? What if I ran away from home? Move in with me! I'll take care of you! <laughs> I want to know how they really feel about me. If they love me, they'll try to find me, right? <sighs> it's a secret, okay? Don't tell mom and dad I'm running away. I know you won't tell. I don't like where this is going. I, I think maybe we should, uh... Ah, shit. <laughs> um... Can we, can we stage like a, um, like a stakeout? Can we just oversee and make sure that she's safe? I don't know who I would even go to. Is it Stripey, I guess? But I don't even know Stripey. I'm just thinking Stripey first because Stripey knows her. Now. Let's play again sometime. Part of ways with Maiko and headed back to the dorm. Yeah, there are um, there are some themes in P3. P3 be theming. <laughs> Need to talk to Fuka. About what? There's something I have to clear up. Um. I'm sure you're burnt out coming right off in the operation. You know, it might do you good to just rest today. Sure, sure will. Yo. Mitsuru's not here, so we're skipping Tartarus tonight. Let's take it easy for now. Hey. What? Were you going to order me around, oh high and mighty leader? 
Yo, this attitude came from like almost nowhere. Like, okay, I get it. Since the beginning, he's been like, hey, yo, make me leader. But it's like, dude, this is, this is like kind of a rough transition point. Like there, there was a, not a lot of lead up to this amount of hostility. Whatever. They can be just as good as you two. Can you guys remember a couple, uh... Gonna cut the deranged tangent for sure? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the YouTube viewers are gonna miss out on my oyster hat and on the monkeys. Don't worry about it. You know, you, you guys remember a couple streams ago that I was like, me and Junpei have this relationship with each other that we can just gaslight each other. This dude does not get the relationship. He wouldn't last a minute. Wouldn't last a minute. Nah, nah. Alright, so Mitsuru is not in. Um, Takaba and Yukari are in the control room. <laughs> what? Are you trying to. <laughs> what are you trying to do, Farley? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They won't miss out on the sass. <laughs> are you starting a rebellion in the YouTube viewership? <laughs> you know, honestly, Farley, if anyone can do it, you can. So about last night's operation. Did something happen between you and Yukari-chan? Yukari-chan has been acting a little weird lately. I just hope nothing's bothering her. Oh. I uh, almost forgot. I wanted to apologize for hitting you yesterday. I kept meaning to say something earlier, but I didn't want everyone else to hear. So I'm... Um, yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, You know, that that is very mature of you. Yeah, unlike Junpei. You know this place is called, um, Polonia Mall, right? Well, you know how I got that name? Uh, no. Polonia is a type of plant, and part of the Kirijo name comes from the character for Polonia Tree. Do the Kirijos just own this entire town? Do they just own everything? Oh my god, they do! What do they not own? <laughs> I may look like a slacker salary man, but I know some surprising things. What the hell? Alright, so we need academics. We really, really need academics. Because finals are coming up, and I just know that studying isn't gonna do it, so we need special food for our special brains. But this is just normal! Ah! Oh man! I don't wanna do that because then it's just one point. Oh yeah, I could check. Oh, hey, look, look! Perfect! Competi a, com a competitive quiz game! This works! Wish I could eat special food and then somehow magically be better at guitar. Hell yeah, same! I played the quiz game, you're the answer. I learn from my wrong answers and gain new knowledge. Hell yeah, there we go. Our academics are suffering. <laughs> they are really, truly suffering. <laughs> I can hear people talking. Anyway. You know, our campus is actually pretty clean and new. I only noticed after my club had a visit at another school. My parents said that our school was rebuilt after an explosion ten years ago. I also heard that the explosion wasn't the only reason. Around that time, a lot of students suddenly stopped coming to school. Maybe that's why they put up a new building, to start with a clean slate. Huh? 
coincidence? <laughs> I think not. Hmm. What? You think there's a dark side to GeckoCon High? You watch way too much TV. First bell has rung. Damn, y'all are at fours and fives? I'm at a two at best. Let's skim through this chapter. Okay, let's talk about the Heian era today. I won't spend a lot of time on this, so pay attention. All right. No, no, Kirijo. I don't think Kirijo herself was around um, at the time of the in the explosion, but I do think that her family probably had something to do it to to do with it. All right, so we're writing this down. In 794, the Heian Kyo was established. In 1894, abolished imperial embassies in China, to China. Imperial embassies to China. I'm, I'm actually doing my academics, don't worry. I might put this section on the exam next week. I'm feeling lazy. Anyway, on to feudalism. Listen carefully because this has a lot to do with the origins of the samurai. So the law permitting permanent ownership of newly cultivated lands served as a foundation for the development of feudalism. Okay, so feudalism, feudalism, permanent ownership of new land foundation. Thanks to this decree, a lot of land was cultivated. At the same time, a serious problem arose for farmers. Do you remember what that was? Um, what would be, I mean, I, I feel like it would be too early to, for it to be environmental destruction. But maybe they're saying environmental destruction because they, you know, acquired this new land to cultivate it, but they didn't know how to cultivate it properly. So they, in, they like destroyed it, but like in like, you know, not on purpose. But there is also a social disparity between like going from a samurai to, you know, like a farmer. So maybe this also. I feel like land invasion is the least likely of, of the three. I mean, it puts social disparity. Yes, exactly. All right. Disparity. The work doesn't end after you plow the land. It costs a lot of money to build waterways and stuff on top of that. So the farmers with more wealth and authority could make more money by expanding their lands. On the other hand, those who weren't as affluent had no choice but to remain poor. It's the same old story throughout time. Okay, so more money equals better farming which equals more money it's almost like if you have a head start with your funds you can go further than someone that's starting from zero I know, we should have been investing in the stock market. Thankfully, we're doing that now by investing in Tanaka. <laughs> Man is gonna make us rich, just you wait. Have faith. Oh my god, <laughs> wait, that would be the best isekai! <laughs> that time I got reincarnated into the one person. <laughs> That's an isekai I would watch, hell yeah. <laughs> we should pinch it. We should definitely pitch that idea. Greed is such a terrible sin. See, even Elizabeth agrees. <laughs> Alas, I cannot help but want. And now the number of requests I have for you has increased. I would be incredibly pleased should you spare the time to fulfill them. Good day. All right, well, since we Are completed all the requests request? from before, let's see what... A Christmas star. Oh, wow. Well, it's not even it's not close to Christmas yet. Oh my. You've already fulfilled the requirements. Oh, hey, 
wait, we just got this too because they kept stealing our Taiyaki. So we have the Taiyaki. This is why you hoard items. It certainly is cold. You have my thanks. It has a soft, chewy texture and such cute round eyes. I shall savor every bite. Please take this as your reward. Okay, new whole cloth. Uh, wish to feel the ocean. I've longed to visit this place called the ocean. A shame. Alas, as you know, I am unable to abandon my post here. So if you ever have the opportunity to visit the ocean, would you look for something that feels like the ocean for me? By all means. Something that feels like the ocean. So like a, a, a conch shell? Maybe she like puts it up to her ear? If I may say so. I'd like for you to bring me a certain plant. It's often referred to as the Christmas star. Oh, like a, po a poinsettia? Po poinsettia? Poin poinsettia? Right? The, the, the red ones. I feel like that's probably what she's talking about. I do not have any more knowledge on this subject. Should you require help, I recommend asking someone well versed in plants. So Fuka, right? Because Fuka had, um, when we saw that one part with that showed her room, we saw that she had a whole bunch of plants. I will await a report of success. I can sense a presence. We can feed the cat. I have cat food. Let's go immediately. There seems to be a hungry cat somewhere out there. It appears to have trouble finding food as such. It has not been fed. Would you please By find and means. feed him? Yes. We can finally feed the cat. I've been wanting to feed the cat since the first time I saw it. Why was it locked behind a request? Oh, a pair yes. of Max safety shoes. I overheard a housewife say something rather intriguing. Within the world of online shopping, these Max safety shoes are extremely popular right now. I would love to see what makes these shoes so special. Would you please bring me a pair? By all means. Come to think of it. Music that's specific to GeckoCon. Uh, said that music can paint a vivid reflection of the culture at the time and place in history. Should that prove true, then I wonder if the GeckoCon high school you attend has its own unique music as well. It's been on my mind ever since I first heard of this. Will you do me one favor? I'd like to hear a piece of music distinctive to your learning facility, GeckoCon High School. I will await a report of success. A CD, huh? A rare shadow? I will await a report of success. In the third block, Yabasha, and bring back one rustic coin. I will await a report of With success. With torrent shot? Do, do I have that as a card? I might. I will await a report of... Very well, then. Actually, do I have that as a card? I have single shot. I don't have torrent shot. Damn it. Out of all the cards that I have, <laughs> I have so many cards. We had to work to become worthy to feed the cat. I, exactly. Which actually, though, we can we can probably go to it right now. I know exactly where the cat is. Yes. Amazing. The cat is purring loudly. It seems happy. Maybe the cat will feel better if I come back and feed it again tomorrow. Yes! I can feed the cat every day now! <laughs> Looks like those three weirdos have been snooping around here. Guess they're trying to hear the juicy stuff. The stuff you don't find out about in normal life. The whole reason I hang out here is to shoot the shit with my buds. Those three weirdos are the only ones who come here to try to learn stuff. They need to get a life. Three weirdos, huh? And I know who they're talking about. You guys don't have anything new. Junpei, are you still being hostile towards me? What? What do you want? Don't bug me if it's not important. I'm heading home now. Why are you so angry at me? Why are you so angry? Please paint my powerful persona a pretty purple. Please paint my powerful per Hmm. This is harder than I thought. Please paint my my persona a pretty purple. Please paint my persona a pretty purple. Please paint my, my persona a pretty purple. <laughs> that's, that's 
great. We're gonna spend time with the old people. I wonder. <laughs> Hey, um, actually, you guys don't have a son. You adopted me. Could you adopt a small child? <laughs> I have I have a great child for you. And also a Frenchman. <laughs> Elizabeth asked me to get a specific item for her. That's the ornament at the top of the tree, right? Why do you need one of those? It might not refer to an ornament at all. There's a type of plant that's sometimes called the Christmas star. Could you wait a few minutes? I'll go double check. Poinsettia, yeah! Okay, I got it. This flower is usually sold during Christmas time, so it'd be hard to find in stores now. Fortunately, I had some in my room. Here you go. Hmm, Luca coming in clutch. Takes her mission really seriously. She would probably do just about anything to annihilate the shadows. I can respect feeling like there's something you have to do, but isn't it a bit much sometimes? I think I know what you mean. There are a lot of old sayings about maintaining balance in your life. I understand not wanting to be too laid back, but you shouldn't become obsessive either. Alright, new theory. New theory. Her family did some shit ten years ago, and she feels guilty about it, and that's why she works so hard. Um, hey. I think it's wonderful that Kirijo Senpai is so passionate about her cause. But being too passionate can cause people around you to feel confused. It's a difficult balancing act. There is a new recording! Let's watch it. 6-14-2009. Starting playback. Is this Junpei's room? It is! <laughs> hey, Junpei plays guitar. Wait, what's Mitsuru doing in here? This way, officer. With Kurosawa? By the time I noticed the door was halfway open, his room was already like this. I've left the place untouched as you requested. It's just messy. Hmm. Whose room is this? Junpei Iori, a second year student. Why are you calling the cops on a messy room? <laughs> I've been trying to reach him on his cell phone, but he hasn't responded in the last half hour. Half hour? Dude, could be doing anything! <sighs> it was careless of me to let my guard down. The storm was attacked once in the past. <laughs> it wasn't attacked! <laughs> Me too! <laughs> Perhaps Iori himself is at fault here. However, if harm has fallen upon him as head of seas, I am accountable. I hate to say it, Kirijo-san, but he most likely... Huh? Kirijo-senpai? What the hell? Kurosawa-san? What's going on here? Yeah, like, why is there a cop in my room? Why are you in my room? <laughs> Iori? Where were you? I've been trying to get a hold of you. Huh? Oh, uh, it was hot. And the AC was busted, so I went to the manga cafe. But I fell asleep. Well, I'm just glad you're safe. So if it wasn't an attack, then it must have been theft. Why would the burglar target this room? Burglar? What else could it be? Someone clearly ransacked the place looking for something. Vandalizing a school dorm. When I find out who did this, I'll see to it that they face a swift execution. Execution? <laughs> Me too! Chill! Chill out, please. This... <laughs> Me too really came in here and was like, you live like this? <laughs> Well, son, sounds like you've got a death sentence. How about it, Iori? Was this room really vandalized? Ah, uh, 
Well, this is how my room always looks? What? But, I mean, you can't possibly live like this, can you? What about the door? It was open. Oh, that? I was just airing the place out while I was gone. No one we don't know ever comes around, so... Huh. She is shocked. <laughs> Absolutely I think this case is closed. May I get back to my duties now, young lady? The fact that she called an officer in here for this. Oh, uh, yes. I'm sorry you had to witness something so disgraceful. This is precious and also so crazy. <laughs> I apologize for all this. It seems I grew up more sheltered than I realized. You're not even gonna yell at me? Oh, yeah, that's that's right. We found out last time that Junpei really likes being stepped on. <laughs> and what's the deal with calling the cops over a messy room anyway? What the hell did I do to deserve this? Hey, wait. I drew that worst luck fortune on the way back. That red leafed plant, is that the Christmas star? I was led to believe there would be presents growing from this plant. Very well then. This fulfills my request, but you can take it back with you. Although once the presents are in full bloom, I'd like for these plants to fill our room. Ooh. That looks like something for, uh, for Akihiko. Security training website. Oh, well, we can buy stuff from them. All right, let's, let's go get it. Go have a look. Videos on taking down enemies. All right. Hey. Gonna come by a lot. Maybe I'll hire you if you need an extra. If we need an extra hand. Ah, the monk guy. The monk guy is here. What? It might grow closer. Ah, okay, 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 okay. So the monk is definitely a potential. It's a potential. It really is Monk Wednesday. No, we, we got it, we got it. This guy is so fucking cool. My one singular interaction with this dude, I already love him. He's my dad now. Hey, I remember you. I thought I told you not to come back here. Huh. Damn kids. Well, I don't care. As long as you don't get on my nerves. Have a seat. What you doing here today, kid? I'm here exclusively for you. Java! Hi, Java! <laughs> yeah, literally, I came to see you. Quit joking around, kid. <laughs> That's a good one. I like how both of the options Watch were also kind of rude. Kid. I am your elder, after all. Like, in one, we just tell him off and be like, it's none of your business, and in the other one, we call him an old man. <laughs> you were my son, I'd give you a swift kick in the ass. You don't have to revere me, but at least show some proper respect. How should I address you? Can I just call you dad? Ujatsu. That's my Buddhist name. Not my real one, of course. That's Motatsu's son to you. The world's not a forgiving place, kid. You gotta show other people respect. I was lectured <laughs> by Motatsu. I like how even in my inner thoughts, I don't call him Mutatsu san I just said Mutatsu. <laughs> I can sense the kindness behind his harsh words. I feel like I understand Mutatsu a little better now.
Nah, no snakes so far yet. Well, I don't really care what happens to somebody else's kid, but go home already, will you? And this time, don't come back again. What can I say? I like being adopted. Found family and whatnot. <laughs> Let's get on with today's lesson. Silence! Class is beginning! Uriel Larry blah blah blah. Just a quick preface. When I use the word magic, I mean it in a very general sense. Anyway, today's topic is the magic of medieval Europe. I'll be giving a crash course on the single most magical place and time in recorded history. There are a lot of materials pertaining to Western magic, from printed books to communal folklore. Uh, I'll cover all of it, including the changes European magic has seen since then. As I mentioned previously, European magic finds its origins in paganism. Starting with Christianity, though, it has been influenced by an influx of various cultures. Let's see, what are some well-known examples? There is Kabbalah, which is the esoteric study of mystical aspects of Jewish texts. There is also Gnosticism, a Christian sect founded by Simon Magus, the sorcerer. Uh, Greece's philosophy of natural sciences were the fruits of magical researchers. And the same was true of Islam scientific ad advances, which surpassed Europe's at the time. Now, as for the circumstances of magic in this age, it was an era where the rule of Christianity and the insight of the natural sciences collided. Magicians, braved, er, magicians bravely reached up for a connection with the gods. Say, are you still awake? You're not daydreaming, right? How about a test to see if you were paying attention? You'll know what type of guardian angel you have, depending on how you answer. Okay, then. I choose thee! What is the esoteric study of Jewish text called? Ah, uh, Kabbalah. Cool. Thank your guardian angel, because they must be kind. The magicians of the age achieved great things. Particularly the renowned grimoire. A grimoire is a collection of magical texts, usually as all-encompassing as possible, wherein... Blah, 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 answered correctly, now I'm even more charming! It all comes back to Dropsy. Every time! Every time. Alright, alright, alright. No one. I didn't study. I didn't study with Mitsuru and Akihiko. I chose the monk over them. Oh, I feel bad now. It's old people time. Oh, welcome. Uh. Why are you crying? What happened? Don't you worry. She's she's crying because she's happy. I don't think that's. I don't think she looks happy. She's an emotional woman, bless her heart. She's been like this since the day we met. Hey, hey, yo, hey, yo, that's an insult. Don't say that. Don't say bless her heart. You see, all the graduates from my son's class have come together. They're collecting signatures to save the persimmon tree. Oh, that's, that's great. They say the tree is a memorial to their former teacher. That's great! It was the same for our son's funeral. Many of them showed up for it. It's been so many years since then, but they still remember him. They've given their precious time for our son. I, I don't know what to say. I'm so grateful. You must be the one who called on them for this, right? No. Uh... No, actually. Ah, don't pretend it's just us. You don't have to be so modest. No, I, I'm being serious. I have no idea what you're talking about. 
You're a samurai. A modern day samurai. The two think that I'm the one responsible for the petition. They're showing considerable gratitude. And somehow we're growing closer. I am taking credit for someone else's work somehow. And before you know it, you'll graduate and step boldly into adulthood. Don't forget about us, you hear? Someday I'd love to grab a drink, you and me. But for now, you'll have to make do with this. Thanks! See you again soon. Thanks for the soda. Everything is great. When is our exam? It's coming up soon, isn't it? Our academics are still suffering. Oh, welcome back! With exams coming up, I thought maybe um, we second years could hold a study session. Pass. I'm heading to my room. Huh? Wait, Junpei! Well, his loss. Yumi and Fuka can still study together. <laughs> we can hang out with the monk again! <laughs> <laughs> Studying is for losers! <laughs> no, 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 I, I felt bad. I felt bad that I uh, ignored Mitsuru and Akihiko last time. Fuka, your notes look so trendy. I kind of wasn't expecting that. Oh no, these are Natsuki-chan's notes. She let me borrow them since I was out trapped in Tartarus. Oh, the Gyaru girl? Yeah! Mm -hmm. She sure is. That said, there's actually quite a bit missing from these notes. Oh, you're right. This part just has the equation and no answer. And this page is full of doodles. And this part... Uh... Is that a drool stain? <laughs> I love her. <laughs> I'm so glad they're friends. Hey, it may not be the best study material, but it's the thought that counts, right? Mm -hmm. I've been trying to think of a way to return the favor. <laughs> it's the thought that counts. <laughs> I think mean, that's hilarious. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah. It's the thought that counts. <laughs> you guys are friends, right? I don't think you need to worry about it. But I get how you feel. Oh, I know. Maybe I could fill in the parts that are missing in our notes. <laughs> she does it anyway. Uh, or would that be rude? I think that's a great idea. We could even help you out. It'd help us review the material too, right? <sighs> Thanks, you two. Amazing. Here, let me see those notes. Oh. Yeah. Began to fill in Natsuki's notes. We nearly rewrote the whole thing. It really did make for a good review. Amazing. Still three. It looks wonderful. <laughs> Natsuki-chan's in for a real surprise when she sees this. I hope she likes it. I'm sure she will. I couldn't have done it without your help. Thanks, you two. Well, it certainly helped us study too, right? Sure! I'll make sure to give Natsuki-chan the notes back tomorrow. Good night. Hey. Mm. You're speaking to me! Are you gonna apologize for being so hostile? Exams are coming up pretty soon. Have you been studying? Yep. <sighs> oh yeah? Well, not that it's any of my business. <laughs> he feels... inadequate. Finally, Sengoku is how he said! We've reached the Tyrano Masakado. The turning point of the area. Area. The era of the samurai. Alright. 
So the Tyra no Masacado. It all began with the infighting among the Tyra clan. Infighting. In Tyra. Their conflict escalated while the Imperial Court had to intervene. Imperial Court. Intervention. Masakado was pursued by the Imperial Court, so he had no choice but to openly oppose them. Masakado. Pursued. The result was known as the War of Masakado. Okay, War of. So. You may not look like a samurai, but let's see if you know this one already. There's a theory that the Tyra no Masakado thought of the prototype for an item essential to battle. What do you think the item was? It's something every samurai needs. Um. Armor? All right. I, th I thought that was too obvious. Like, okay. I should have gone for the obvious answer. <laughs> think, of <laughs> think of samurai and their swords uh, are the first thing that comes to mind. Although it's not known whether Masakado really came up with them. Yeah, okay, okay, guys. Okay. I get it. I get it. Okay. I thought it was too obvious. <laughs> Let's skip forward a little to the Kamakura era. In 18... 1885, the Kamakura Shogunate was established. Shogunate. <laughs> and of course, its founder, Minamoto no Yoritomo, Minamoto no Yoritomo. I can't believe we finally made it. Do you need to go to the nurse's office? Perhaps. A message from Sonata. Ikutsuki son is coming tonight. Sounds like he has something to tell us. Come, we'll meet at the fourth floor once we're all back. Mom and Dad, they. What they do? What they do? cry okay because i thought she just needed to let it out and now i just i second guess everything i say to this child <laughs> i want them to think about things calmly but they're a child they're a child they have to be able to like go through their emotions you know <laughs> be like don't do it don't run. Why not? I thought you were on my side. Oh, yeah, but this is a I'm safety going problem. To run away. I already said so. You better start packing soon. Hey, what should I bring if I'm running away from home? I need lots of snacks, right? And my insurance card? 
That was such a question. It was like, insurance card? Uh, it'll take more than that. In thought. Either way, I'm gonna give it a try. Don't worry, I'll be just fine, okay? Oh, I'm worrying. I'm gonna miss playing with you. Michael seems fond of me. <laughs> I am so concerned for this child. <laughs> when I run away, mom and dad will have to work together to find me. <laughs> This is gonna be great! I gotta make sure I'm ready to go. I walked my go home and returned to the dorm. So I know where she lives. I know where she lives. I can talk to the parents. Be like, listen, you guys need to fucking figure your shit out. And that's the summary of what happened on the night of the 7th. These shadows seem to be quite a bit more formidable than the ordinary ones. I see. So our enemies are growing stronger as well. Well, it's not all bad news. In fact, I called today's meeting because... Hold on. Before we go on, I'd like to ask Kirijo-senpai something. Oh? I know I'm not the only one thinking this. So much has been happening lately. I feel like I've just been getting dragged along without really understanding anything. But now, I want answers. So I'm gonna ask you straight out. You've been hiding something from us, haven't you, Senpai? You're always acting like you don't know anything about the Dark Hour or Tartarus. But they're connected to that accident ten years ago, aren't they? What accident? Yukari-chan? There was an explosion near our school and a lot of people died. It must have been big news back then. You know about it, don't you? Yes. Luckily, no students were injured, but something is off here. At the time of the incident, there were several unexplained absences. Seems like more than just a coincidence to me. What do you mean? Well, I dug up some old school records and found something interesting. Those students weren't just absent. They all suddenly collapsed and had to be sent to the hospital. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Remember those girls who bullied Fuka? They had to be hospitalized too. <laughs> I want an explanation. What really happened on the day of that accident? The Kirijo group built our school, so you have to know something. Tell me the truth. I wasn't trying to hide anything from you, it just never seemed relevant. But... It's okay. It's not your fault. All right. I'll tell you everything. Shadows have many mysterious abilities. Some research indicates they can even affect time and space. We think of them as our enemies, but... What if we could somehow use them to our advantage? They could be a source of unimaginable power, couldn't they? What? Fourteen years ago, one man pursued that very line of thinking. He was the former leader of the Kirijo group, Koetsu Kirijo, my grandfather. Oh, we get a cutscene and everything for this. My grandfather was obsessed with the shadows. He wanted to harness their power to create something extraordinary. 
create something extraordinary? To that end, he assembled a research team and had them amass a number of shadows. He was collecting them? Damn, that's freaking crazy! But ten years ago, during the final stages of the project, there was an accident. And the experiment failed. They lost control of the Shadow's power, altering the nature of the entire world. You can't mean... Yes. Tartarus and the Dark Hour. So it was because of that experimentation that Tartarus and the Dark Hour first came to be in the first place? Is Blonde Jesus a test tube baby? <laughs> I don't know, I'm, I'm just spitting things out here. According to the records, the accumulated mass of shadows split into several large ones that later dispersed. These are the shadows we've been encountering on nights when the moon is full. <laughs> Maybe that's why it's difficult to predict where they'll appear. Wait a minute. If what you said is true, then why did our school turn into Tartarus? Don't tell me. Is it because that's where they conducted the experiment? Yes. Than those students who were hospitalized. It's just as you fear. It was a highly populated area, and the Kirijo group had influence there. They could essentially do as they pleased. Port Island must have been the perfect location for them. So, yes, as you guessed, the experiment ten years ago was conducted at Gekokan High School. Just what are you trying to say here? So that's the whole purpose behind Seas? We were dragged into all this just to clean up their mess? You lied to us? It wasn't necessarily a lie. By omission, maybe, but it wasn't an outright lie. <laughs> and you knew too, didn't you, Sonata-senpai? You've both just been using us! Or do you not care as long as you're the one who gets to do the fighting? I never said anything like that. I wonder if this is why Shinji left. I... have my reasons. Think what you'd like, but it was my decision not to share the information. I'm sorry. It was never my intent to deceive you. Convincing you to join Seas was my highest priority. I know it may not be fair, but Shadows can only be defeated by Persona users. We are the only ones who can fight. That's hardly the point! I never had a choice either. It didn't matter if I wanted this power or not. I... Mitsuru, that's enough. Was she like, like, she didn't like awaken to a persona? Maybe a persona was just like given to her. Like experimented Takibaku, on type of thing. It's only those in the past who are to blame. And they lost their lives as a result of what they did. We're all in the same boat here. None of us deserve the burden that's been thrust upon us. But that's... <sighs> It's been ten years since the incident in question. No one knows why those shadows suddenly returned. But now that they're here, we have the chance to find and destroy them. Do you realize what that means? What if I told you that the Twelve Shadows are the cause of everything? You're saying if we defeat them all, Tartarus and the Dark Hour will disappear? Exactly! That's what I was going to tell you earlier. See? It's good news, isn't it? Can that 
really be true? We're halfway there at 40 hours on this easily over 120 hour game? I don't think it's gonna go right. <laughs> Everything is great. <laughs> Surely nothing will go wrong. There's evidence to support it. I don't know, man. I'm. This is like a father figure to me. We're just called, there's so many good father figures in this particular Persona game. Um, but I don't know, man. I don't trust this guy. I feel like this guy, the chairman, has like an evil twin. I, I feel like Blonde Jesus is, is like a shadow version of him or like is him, but just like in the dark hour or something. I don't know. And this is where our true battle begins. <laughs> Listen, I don't know the actual answer. I haven't played through this game, but let me have my theories. Our true battle. It could, Jama, you you say that, but it could just be him with his shirt off and like, you know, a wig or something, or maybe like, who knows, magical powers. His hair turns white. I don't fucking know. He's wearing long sleeves. We haven't seen him with his shirt off. We don't know if he has tattoos under there. <laughs> Regardless of what's happened in the past, we must fight to protect the people. The shadows are gaining strength. We can't afford to wait for them to strike first. Right. And there are still many mysteries surrounding Tartarus. For instance, why did such a gigantic structure appear in the first place? The answers must be out there somewhere. The answer's out there. <laughs> it's out there, all right. Mm. We must defeat the 12 shadows that started all of this in order to eradicate both the Dark Hour and Tartarus. I must fight to protect everyone. Six of them remain. Let's see. We shouldn't go to Tartarus tonight. Jin Pekin asked me to go over what we talked about in the hmm. meeting. But if we defeat all 12 shadows, I won't be able to use my persona anymore. And it's such an amazing power. I can't just let it go to waste. Hey. Hey. Well, aren't you calm? Must be because you're a fantastic leader who can do anything, huh? No matter what happens, you can handle it all by yourself, isn't that right? <laughs> I wish nobody like me could be like that. Wish a nobody like me. Um, Jimikin, are you listening? The only thing anyone knows about Tartarus is that it creates shadows. Other than that, we're all in the dark. Seriously, like, ever since the Love Hotel, you've just been totally hostile. Like, it, it's a really drastic change in the writing. I, I don't know, man. There was, there was, there was not enough lead up to this for me. I'm so sorry about everything. Let me know if there's anything I can say to be of help. Um, can you tell Junpei to calm the fuck down? Under the pretense of assisting um, for the benefit of the group, she has subjected to experiments on her persona for many years. Okay, so that does confirm a little bit that, yeah, she was experimented on. Solving the mystery behind the unknown ability of personas, the development of various equipment beginning with the evoker, none of this would have been possible without her cooperation. Wait, was she the first one to use an evoker? That's fucking traumatic. There must have been some dangerous experiments at the time, too. And yet she kept agreeing to it all, I'm told. Yes. We're gonna ask him all of it. He and Kirijo kun have known each other for a very long time. Sonata kun joined us when he was only in middle school? Well, I guess that checks out, because there was that other kid that we met at the park. Or, not the park, the, um... Well, I guess park. The, the shrine. And he's on the official art. He's in fucking elementary school. At the time, we had a third member as well, but I digress. 
special shadows that appear on full moons, they are the product of a research action 10 years ago. In the incident, an experimental entity comprised of numerous shadows were split once more into 12 large pieces. Okay. As such, their power far exceeds those found in Tartarus. Tread with appropriate caution. Yes. In the end, over 50 people were injured in that accident. The media placed full blame on the Kirijo group for the tragedy. They singled out one researcher in particular, declaring him the main culprit behind it all. Whether it was actually all his fault or not was not the issue. Who's, who's the researcher? What's his name? The public was looking for someone to vent their pain and anger on, so they chose him, even though he was a victim himself. Their wrath was unparalleled. It was almost more frightening than seeing a horde of shadows. Oof, more. I need more. Mutatsu seems to be drinking by himself. I feel like I might grow closer. You. You're proud of me? I thought your face looked familiar. You here again, kid? <laughs> Even Buddha's not that forgiving. All right, that's it. I'm gonna hand you over to the bouncer and... Well, there's no Buddha in this world, so... Stop looking at me like that and sit down, kid. He changed his mind. So tell me, did that fun hanging out with an old monk whose own wife and kid left him? Trauma dumping, amazing. At least he waited until the third rank. <laughs> How come you're always alone when I see you? Don't you got any friends? Can't say I don't. What the hell's that supposed to be? Either you do or you don't. Now get smart with me, kid. What would you call a friend anyway? Where do you draw the line between friend and acquaintance? Let's define a friend as someone you hold dear. The way I see it, no one in this world ever really cares for others. People always want something out of a relationship. They only really love themselves. You don't call someone who doesn't like you your friend, do you? No. Because you know you won't get nothing from them. Which means in this world, there's no one you can truly hold dear. Damn, Dad. At the end of the lonely road of love, kid, you're the only one left standing there. Damn, Dad. <laughs> what? You see those gals over there? One's on the dance floor. <laughs> you can bring one of them over here. I'll be your friend in return, huh? What do you think? I know you can do it. <laughs> Warped trust in me is a very good way of saying it. feel like I understand Mutatsu a little better now. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my. Too tired to go talk to him, huh? <laughs> You look like you're gonna doze off any second now. Go home for now, kid. Besides, I know you're gonna come again anyway. Even if I tell you not to. I said goodbye to Mutatsu and went back to the dorm. All right. <laughs> I love him. He's great. Hey! Lounging about as usual, huh? Yeah, and some milk crates and everything. Hmm? Hugh, what do you want? If you're gonna ask me to go back, the answer's still no. That's not why I'm here. I was just making sure you were still around. That's so. We've known each other a long time. It's been almost 14 years since we met at the orphanage. You guys are orphans? You, me, and Miki. We used to run around here until the sun went down. Damn, so no parents? <laughs> Back then, it seemed like we had all the time in the world. You haven't changed one bit. If you want to get all sappy, go do it with your other pals. 
What was that? It's rare for you to think about the past. Usually, you just charge ahead like a damn fool. You've never been good at hiding shit. Everyone thinks about the past. Even me. Anyway, we finally know how to get rid of Tartarus in the Dark Hour. No shit? Yeah. The thing is, all I've cared about until now is getting stronger. Everything else came second. But yesterday, someone made me question my reason for fighting. Your reason for fighting? Huh. It's different for everyone. But if you don't have a good one, you can always quit. That's what I did. I'm not like you. <laughs> Man, I can't believe I'm the one getting lectured here. <laughs> well, see you around. Hmm. You really haven't changed at all. Amazing. Yes? Can I talk to you for a moment? Oh, that sound so design was cool. This is unusual. Please, come in. It was like muffled in my ear. So not only do you excel at providing support during battle, you are also quite skilled at gathering information. Oh, I I'm sorry for doing that without permission. Don't worry, you're not in trouble. But I do have an important favor to ask of you. I want you to find out as much as you can about that incident ten years ago. Oh, well, very little of that was made public. I know. That's why I want you to access the Kirijo Group's database. You mean, hack into their system? Is that allowed? I'll give you my ID and password. Then you won't be held accountable. But I need to know the truth in detail. Is it really hacking if you're being given an ID and password? <laughs> Senpai. Of course, I'll understand if you refuse. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Are you sure? I appreciate it. Yamagishi, aren't you resentful? Regardless of my good intentions, I did drag you into this without fully explaining. I'm sure you must have at least a few complaints. Not really. Did you know my entire family is made up of doctors? My parents are the one exception. It gives them a bit of an inferiority complex. That's why they're so hard on me. I don't like being at home. Oh, you know what? Maybe that's why she's part of the whole art club, like, social link. Because of the dude and his connection to doctors. That's probably gonna come up at some point during those ranks. But here, I'm able to do something no one else can. I have a purpose. So no, I don't have any complaints. You're right. We can't do this without you. No one could take your place. Uh, oh! Thank you. I'll see you later. So, Tartarus and the Dark Hour are on the way out, huh? <sighs> no, that's a good thing. That's what we've been fighting for. So then... Why... Damn it! Why am I so pissed? Gosh, it's hot. Even for July. Wow, I can't believe we're already third years. Guess this will be the last time we'll wear these uniforms and hang out after school. <sighs> Who cares? I just want to get into college and start having fun already. <laughs> I get it. My problem is me. 
and going on like fighting was my duty and all. Actually, it's just all I'm good at. Because without that, without that, I'm nothing. This guy is straight up monologuing in front of the movie theater line. <laughs> so much for being a hero. I can't fight worth the shit anyway. Not compared to him, at least. Damn it! Nothing I do is good enough. I keep waiting for the, the red-haired girl to just show up and be like, Hey, why don't you join us instead and fight against this dude that you just very loudly talked about? Why am I only ever right about the worst things? Am I stupid for trusting in something so blindly? Dad... I got this letter from you last spring. I must have read it a thousand times since then. To my family, ten years into the future. I recognize this voice too! Who is this? Tomorrow, I'll bring this letter to the opening ceremony for the Moonlight Bridge. Alright, I don't want to look it up because potential spoilers. Can someone find who this voice is? It will be stored in a time capsule and sent to you in ten years' time. Yukari, you may be small now, but in ten years, you'll be 16. You'll be in high school. Is it Yuri Lowenthal? Wait, who is it? <laughs> who is it? It's Yuri Lowenthal? <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> I was like, I know this voice. I ever heard this voice before. Where have I heard this? <laughs> This, yes! That's it! That is what it is! That is what it is, Axe! It's the Sasuke angst! <laughs> you are so right. Oh my god. I know you've been sad because I have to work so late, but you always manage to greet me with a smile. I'm really proud of myself. Kirijo san appointed me head researcher. I'll be starting on a big project soon. It feels good to receive so much recognition for my work. But I swear to you, nothing is more important to me than you and your mother. Oh, Dad. Yukari, I wonder, are you enjoying life? Do you have high hopes for the future? Oh, you guys are right. They did pin it on a researcher. They probably pinned it on Yukari's dad. Do you still look towards tomorrow with excitement and wonder like you do now? No matter what happens in the next 10 years, I hope you're happy. And I hope this letter brings a smile to both you and your mother's faces. Eiichiro Takeba, March 6th, 2000. No matter what happens, huh? All I can do is believe. I won't turn my back. I won't be like mom. All right, daddy issues and mommy issues understood. Not ever. Great mix. <laughs> this is, oh boy. I'm your host, Tanaka, with a live presentation of my amazing commodities. We'll show you great products at unbeatable prices. I'm going to do it. Mm-hmm. Summer vacation is upon us. We just have a thing for you. We just have the thing for you this hot summer. Good, good. Not I am bad. so glad that we have money because Elizabeth needs this. We would have not been able to do this, um... We would have not been able to do the request if we didn't have money for this. Thanks, kid. 
We'll be introducing a seasonal corn set. Don't miss it. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I know, I know, I skipped the bye-bye. Gotta feed the cat. The cat is purring loudly, it seems happy! Seems to have regained all its energy by eating the cat food. I think it'll be okay without me having to feed it anymore. Amazing! Marvelous! I'm looking forward to it! Here are my requests. Wonderful! So you have successfully fed the hungry cat. That is cat. a great relief. Thank you. I can feel relief in the very cockles of my heart. I hope it prospers forever and ever. Take this as your reward. Amazing. Thank you. You will get this soon. I have no clue where to get this. A location with the school that broadcasts music. I mean, I guess I could go to the music club, but I don't think it lets me in there. <laughs> Here are my requests. Rare Shadow is gonna be in Tartarus. We'll get to it when we get to it. Torrent Shot, I'll keep track of. And that's gonna be in Tartarus too. Okay. Very we're good. on we're on the right track. Now listen here. Don't bother me. I'm trying to study here. I don't get good grades as easily as you do, man. Later. <laughs> So... Sorry it's through the door, but can I ask you a question? Is there something you believe in? Something that, even when everything is terrible and you've been betrayed by everyone, it doesn't shake your conviction? There is. I see. You're very strong. I wish I was like you. Silk song! <laughs> Amazing. One day it'll happen, you guys. <laughs> Chatted with Maya. Amazing. Hey, Maya. Uh, I need help on my finals. Alright, surely... This will be enough. <laughs> it will not be enough. <laughs> I would be very surprised. Yeah, no. <laughs> we are so gonna fail. We're doomed. <laughs> We're so doomed. Child, help me. <laughs> Child, stop the dark hour so I can study. It's good to see you again. How long has it been since we first met? Time passes so quickly. Yeah, our grades are gonna suffer. We're gonna do so poorly. So tell me, how's life as a Persona user? I mean, you know, I still don't know what the deal was with the other thing coming out of my, you know, Persona. There was a Persona within my Persona, dude. I, and then your face showed up when uh, that happened. So, you know, I think you have something to do with it. I don't know, something's missing. Something's up. I wonder what. I hope you find it soon. I remembered something else about the coming of the end. It all stems from something that took place many years ago. Ten years ago? Are you the test tube baby? Wait, this dude is the test tube baby. Fuck the chairman. The chairman's not the test tube baby. This is the test tube baby. <laughs> Ten years ago, if I remember correctly. Oh. Didn't your parents pass away about ten years ago? 
I have learned something new about the main character <laughs> just now. A persona is like a mirror. Which means a persona user can never escape their true self. But no matter what, I won't leave you. Because we're friends, right? A faint bond forming between Faros and me. Amazing. Rank three. Amazing. Good that's night. that's so great. Good good night. Good night, child. We have exams starting tomorrow, and they're cumulative, so it's hard to remember everything. You know what? What if I fail again? I really wish the school would stop posting our names with our scores. Yep, yep. It's embarrassing if we're near the bottom of the list. Smart people like Kiri Jo Senpai wouldn't get it though. All right, we have one day to study. Today is our study day. Attention, please. Miss Teruchi. Summer vacation is just within reach, so you'd better study hard. Why aren't you excited? You know, summer vacation, beaches, shaved ice, woohoo! It's also the hottest time of the year, though. Don't go overheating, okay? And that reminds me, there's an old expression for the hottest time of the year in the Northern Hemisphere. No, I gotta Why? stay awake. The dog days of summer. Okay, dog days. Write that down, write that down. It goes all the way back to the ancient Latin phrase, the puppy days. The puppy days, puppy days. Latin. Latin. Any idea where that phrase comes from, anyone? It's because of Sirius, also called the Dog Star. Okay, Sirius. Dog Star. You know, all this dog talk makes me think that that dog is joining us before Beanie Boy. Um, appears at the start of summer. And people believed it brought droughts and misfortune. Here's hoping we can all avoid that. I guess have a nice vacation. Yes! <laughs> We're saved. <laughs> All right, Michael. Michael, you okay? How's life on the streets? She's gonna be okay. I worry about this child. Welcome back. Uh, am I missing something here? What's going on? <sighs> What's wrong? You all hungry or something? Mm, not really. This is. So awkward. An awkward silence fills the room. Um... You know, it's almost summer break. Oh yeah, it is, huh? Does anyone have any plans? I wish I could go to the beach. Hot sand, cool breeze, <laughs> babes in bikinis. Man, a break like that sure would be nice. Somewhere in the south, where the water is crystal clear. But starting tomorrow, we gotta get through our exams. Oh man, this sucks. I'm sure you'll be fine. But it would be nice to go somewhere with beautiful beaches, like Okinawa. That would well, be nice. Well, it's not Okinawa, but how about Yakushima? Mr. Chairman, I didn't realize you were here. Are you here to save this horrendous silence? I happen to be in the area, so I thought I'd drop by and tell you my schedule for next week. Oh, Hirijoku, your father will be vacationing in Yakushima during the break. 
He... he will? You'll all have some time off after exams, right? Why don't you go and get a nice change of scenery? Seriously? We're gonna go on a trip? Oh, thank God the music returned. <laughs> And bikinis, beaches and bikinis. <laughs> I need to hear that again. Yes, beaches and bikinis, beaches and bikinis. Beaches and bikinis, the sky. <laughs> How about it, Yuri Joku? Well, my father is a busy man. I don't want to ruin his vacation. <laughs> Why so hesitant? No father would be upset with a daughter who came all that way to see him. You've all done a great job. You deserve to relax for a while. And we already know when the next operation will be, so I think it'll be fine. I don't know. Senpai, I'm begging you! Something's gonna happen while we're gone. It's gonna be the fucking three bozo villain guys. <laughs> All right. I guess everyone needs a break now and then. Let's do it. And then we're gonna come back, and she's gonna blame herself, and it's gonna go so poorly. The beach, huh? I should design a special training regimen. Oh man, I can't wait! Oh, I need to go buy a swimsuit. Hey, don't worry. I got one you can borrow. No, Junpei. Nice try. Are you going to swim too, Mr. Chairman? I'm afraid I can't. I'll turn to dust if I'm exposed to sunlight. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why that hit me so good. Wait, seriously? Don't be stupid. <laughs> Just left without saying anything. Wait up! Uh... I just wanted to say sorry about the other day. I might have gotten a little carried away. Don't worry about it. In a way, it's only logical that we go to Yakushima. The chairman said that no one who was responsible for the accident survived, but there is one who did. What? There is? My father. I had no idea. So he was there? Oh my god, our stuff! Our stuff from Tanaka! Nice. These three Twilight Fragments. Amazing. Are you accepting a request? Let's hear the results. So these are the sought-after Max Safety Shoes. They seem like an ordinary pair of shoes. A shame. Perhaps its intended purpose will only reveal itself in a crisis? In that case, I'll be returning these. I'm sure they shall prove more useful to you. Amazing. A mysterious person's Keep autograph. Do you recall the online shopping world I spoke of in an earlier request? That seems to be related to a strange individual who often rambles along to a unique melody. Furthermore, he appears to be quite a prominent figure in your world. I've also heard that such prominent figures have a habit of handing out autographs on the streets. Since I'm unable to leave my post, would you mind fetching I me their autograph? A report of success. All right, I got to ask for Very Tanaka's good. autograph. You wouldn't happen to be here tonight, would you? No. no, Tanaka. Why would he hide from me? 
I haven't done anything. Yeah, 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 you gotta believe, you gotta believe. It's like Pearlie said, he's working hard to make our investment happen. First semester final exams begins today and it will last for five days. All right, I got three pages of notes. We'll, we'll, we'll be okay. Which form of magic is used to find water sources? Uh, dowsing. Dropsy, yeah. <laughs> Everything is dropsy. How did the Witch of Agnesi gain the first half of its name? Okay, hold on. The Curve of... But technically, it was because, because of mistranslation! Yeah, an error in translation! My notes are working. <laughs> Who designed the prototype for the katana? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We just did this, we just did this. Masakado, yeah. There's an error in this sentence, what kind is it? Comma splice! But they didn't show me the... They just assumed that I would know <laughs> the sentence. They didn't show me a sentence. That was the sentence. <laughs> I still don't Hello, understand, it's fine! Hello, Elizabeth speaking. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. Amazing. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey. Thank you, Elizabeth. Vacation all I ever wanted. Hey. What's up? Thank God today's the last day of exams. How you been? Nah. Don't ask. Man, I can't wait to let off some steam. You gotta cut loose during summer, you know? There's an error in this sentence, comma splice, what kind is it? Ah. The questions are just too easy. My pen won't stop moving. Hell yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Easy! Easy exam! You know what I feel? How I feel? I feel like fucking Kiryu! I feel like Kiryu! <laughs> with, the, with the billionaires and the money! <laughs> I have my notes! My powers of the notes! Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, no, I am mad about that. <laughs> I am mad about that. I drew the fucking graph again. I drew the graph again and it didn't show up. <laughs> I need to stop drawing the graphs. But I know that as soon as I stop drawing the graphs, it's gonna show up. Because that's just how it happens. It's how it's happened every time. The dark days of testing are finally over. The sun is shining bright. So, how'd you do? You are not gonna believe this. I ate PE. -E. Good job. Well, that pretty much answers my question. Whatever. A real man doesn't dwell in the past. So that means we're talking again? I'm already thinking ahead to the blue skies of Yakushima. Oh yeah, that's coming up soon, huh? Are you all ready to go? Uh, I'm gonna deflect. <laughs> How about you? Me? Uh, not really. Oh, sorry, I don't sound very enthusiastic, do I? Hey, how about we stop somewhere on the way back? I don't have practice today. Sounds good. Where are we going? If you need to buy a swimsuit, I'd be happy to help. <laughs> very funny. She's the queen of deflections, apparently. All right, give me a sec. I'm 
gonna go grab my stuff from the locker room. Oh, I'll invite Fuka too. Hey, uh, I know I've been kind of a dick lately. Yeah. So, uh, sorry about that. Thank you. I accept your apology, Junpei. Yeah, I'm used to it. Huh? <laughs> huh? That's the kind of guy you are. Well, not that I'm complaining. Let's put this whole thing behind us. Cool? Yeah, we're cool. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Son's here. Don't see that every day. Ikutsuki san called me. I think he wants to talk about a new candidate. Does that mean another person is going to join? Maybe. Fuka! Mm. What's wrong, Natsuki chan? Do you think you can stay after school with me for a mandatory study session? There's like no one. Oh, wait, are you about to head out for the day? Okay, then, never mind. Wait! Aw, hang out with us! Alright, I'll help you. Sorry, I'll see you all back at the dorm later. The dog? <laughs> you guys think the dog is next? That's my bed, too. My bed is on I'm the dog. I'm really surprised at how much she's changed. Ah, friendship. How beautiful. Adolescence is such a wonderful thing. So Hi, fun dad. Vibrancy. It's the kid. The chairman? <laughs> oh, hello. I just stopped by to pick someone up. I might as well introduce you to him now. <laughs> hello. Oh, Amonakun. What are you doing here? Are you also an orphan? You know What's me? up? Kelsaba! Hi! How are you, Kels? He doesn't leave during the break because of his circumstances. Oh, I heard about that. Something about your parents, right? It used to only be me and my mom. She got in an accident. So now it's just me. All right, we're just collecting orphans. <laughs> it happened two years ago. Right now, one of his distant relatives is paying for his school expenses. But that doesn't mean he should stay at the elementary school dorm all by himself, right? So I decided to move him to your dorm, just for the summer. The elementary school has a dormitory? <laughs> to our dorm? Do you really think that's a good idea? Why, of course. He has the potential. I mean, I knew about this because, you know, he's on the official art and stuff, but it's still so crazy to me that this kid is in elementary school and he's going to fight alongside us. Then he's the new candidate? That's right. I mean, they mentioned earlier that Akihiko and Shinji were recruited as like middle school kids, right? And Mitsuno has been doing this for God knows how long that she's been experimented on. But as you can see, he's still just an elementary school student. So it's only a possibility for now. <sighs> yeah, I feel like he feels a, a certain way about this. Are you Akihiko Sonata-senpai? Uh, 
Yeah. I've heard a lot about you. You've never lost a boxing match. Nice to meet you. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, give give the nine-year-old a gun. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Bye-bye, school exams. Hello, summer vacation. Yakushima, here we come. Can't wait for Monday. Maybe I ought to hit up Polonia Mall to get some stuff for the trip. Yes, precisely. Oh, speaking of Polonia Mall, take this. Black sword, okay. What's that? <laughs> Just a small reward. You all deserve a little something after studying hard for exams. Have you heard of an antique shop at Polonia Mall? It's called Mayoido. That'd be correct. I'm calling it Mayo. It's just reopened today, actually. If you bring that to the shop, I'm sure they'll be of great help to you. Why? How's an antique shop gonna help us? Am I missing something? Mm. Uh, I can't quite explain it very well myself. It'd be better to hear from the shop owner than from me. Well then, I'll let you take care of it from here. All right, no choice, I'm just heading there now. Tanaka's still not here. Maoido Antiques. Guess they'll be able to help me. I don't know. Guess the only thing left to do is find out. Night X! Welcome. Sleep well. I'm coming to the shop more often. I am coming to the shop more often. <laughs> Please, 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 please. <laughs> I never feel like Are you in high school? And you're shopping here? Well, take your time and look around. Mm, the lady owns the antique shop. I should show her the black sword that I got from Miki. What? Suki. Hmm, let me have a look. I see. So you're one of the ones Kurosawa was talking about. This is but a humble antique shop. Having said that, I believe I can be of some assistance to you. <laughs> as long as I have something like this black sword, that is. This here is a base model for crafting weapons. By fusing it with various materials, you can craft special equipment. Of course. I can help with the crafting process, but you'll have to collect the required materials yourself. These base materials can be found in places that tend to be quite unwelcoming. That's why it'll be up to you to collect them. By the way. Also, if you find any gems or the like, I'd be willing to exchange them for some of my wares here. Well then, go ahead and have a gander. Item fusion or item exchange. Uh, involve expending one weapon part and a handful of required materials to create a unique piece of equipment. And in the item exchange, the proprietor will take any gemstone off your hands in exchange for items. Materials that are used in item fusions can often be found in Tartar, so you'll be able to collect them as you explore. Okay. This is so cool. Alright. Um, Creating equipment. We have some new items prepared. Come take a look. Hey, yo, all stats plus one? That's great. I feel like that's a really good one. I hope this isn't the case where, like, we can only do, like, one of these. Like, I, I hope we can find more Nihil Cloth and stuff. Because the Nihil Cloth we got as a reward from one of the requests from Elizabeth. So I hope we can find more of it. I feel like Bebe would like this. Bebe would like the Japanese doll. How many did that? All right, I'll trade you for this. Everything good? Everything is can. great. Everything is, is, is... Everything is great. Tanaka, Tanaka, I I met the best MILF just now. Hey. There you are. They ran into a bit of a snag again. Some of the other investors decided to drop out, but since there are a few investors, uh, everyone will make more of a profit. So would you mind investing some more? Just 10,000 more yen should be plenty. 
my foolish little apprentice. Have you not yet realized that you are being deceived? Everything I've said has clearly been suspicious. Uh, ignorance should be a crime. Sure, you have some redeeming qualities, but if you remain this naive, everyone will take advantage of you. Stick with me, and I'll show you how to be a winner. I need your signature, though. I need your... I... Okay. <laughs> Alright. If you insist, I'll give you my autograph. It's always Great. a pleasure to meet a fan. Amazing. I, this is what I wanted. No, I, I, I do, I do want, I do want the autograph. Let's pander to, to oh, him. It's so very difficult being famous. I can hardly go anywhere without being recognized. I'm sure you've seen the home shopping program, Tanaka's Amazing Commodities, yes? Allow me to introduce myself. The man handed me a business card. It says Tanaka, President and CEO. That's right. I'm Tanaka himself. Surely you've heard the name. I'm afraid I can't offer any returns on your 40,000 yen, but I've autographed my business card for you. Perfect. This is all I need for Elizabeth. Hold on to that. It'll be worth a pretty penny in a year or so. Oh, and with that, <laughs> I must be going. I hope the reward for giving Elizabeth this autograph is 40,000 yen. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Pearly. We're on the same brain. We're on the same uh, wavelength. That little brat. Doesn't he realize he's in the presence of a star? Time is money, especially mine. Should have squeezed a few more payments out of him. Sounds like he's talking about me. I mean, do I just like do I just like Dorka? <sighs> hey! Go away! You're making me nervous! Get out of here! Shoo! You... you overheard me talking to myself just now, didn't you? You'll forget it ever happened if you know what's good for you. I belong to a powerful talent agency. I'm practically a celebrity. I have an image to maintain. Don't even think about telling someone that I took your money or called you a little brat, capiche? <laughs> Whatever you say, Tanaka. <laughs> Don't get cute with me. You think you can get away with anything with that pretty face of yours? Oh. <laughs> Silly me. I've let you in on my little secret, haven't I? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, he says we have a pretty face. He's uh, right, don't of course. Tell anyone, okay? Please, I'll lick your shoes clean if you want me to. Where is this coming? This is so funny. I don't care. So, you won't tell anyone, right? You better be ready to cross your heart and hope to die if you're lying to me. Yeah, he was a little too uh, gung-ho about that shoe-licking thing. A verbal agreement is a form of contract. And if you breach it, I'll sue your pants off. Oh, now he's talking about taking my pants off. I've got your adorable little face etched into my memory. Tanaka, that's a, that's, you know, a bit much. Calm down, calm down a little bit. Seems to have taken an interest in me. Acquainted with Tanaka, the producer of the home shopping TV <laughs> This is terrible. Of course he's the devil guard. And thou, thou art I. Thou hast I don't know how I feel about this. This is, this is funny. It's just kind of like have our blessing and now choose <laughs> to create it's ridiculous the of the devil archive. 
Amazing. For 40,000 yen, this too could be yours. You're a diamond in the rough, my boy. All you need is a little polishing, and you'll sparkle. I often take my breaks here. I'd be happy to mold your young mind whenever you wish. God, you're a groomer. <laughs> For parting ways with President Tanaka, I decided to return to the dorm. Amazing. <laughs> 10 out of 10 writing. <laughs> we're learning from the best, he said we're his apprentice! Amazing. Hey, Tanaka. <laughs> Sell me stuff. It's amazing commodity! <laughs> I'm going to do it. The seasonal corn set. Sweet, sweet good, corn. Good. A tetracone. Tretacone. Tret tetracone. <laughs> Not bad, kid. There's three! Three! <laughs> I do not have enough money. Thanks, kid. Bubba. That would have been so good. Those items would have been great. Fuck everything else. We're going to go see Maya. <laughs> I went to the gym yesterday to work out. My muscles are sore, but I'm so buff. There's nothing a little endorphins won't cure, right? Ugh, so much pain. Actually, I only went because I was so pissed at that bastard. Which one? The one who called me an apprentice? Uh, sorry. I have kind of a dirty mouth today. <laughs> Maya seems embarrassed. <laughs> what I meant was, I was upset because of this guy. Remember that E guy? The SOB, right? I made a small error on some paperwork and now he's all on my ass. You're supposed to be teaching correct grammar, he told me. Fuck up, old man. He thinks he's all that just because he's a classic lit teacher for fuck's sake. Does he know who I am? I'm Maya, you old bastard. <laughs> if Mr. E starts playing this game too, I'm putting him on ignore. You can't talk to him either, Kay. <laughs> Pound. <laughs> Why is confiding in me? We're growing closer. Amazing. Yeah, I know. Correct grammar, but then does Leet speak? Mr. E probably doesn't have a computer at his house anyway. He probably uses an abacus. Talk about classic. <laughs> a rocket <rock> copter! <laughs> Much better. Maybe I'll go take a shower now. Don't worry, I won't let that old geezer get me down, Tatsuya. Maya's player signed off. I decided to log out as well. Alright. See you. Here are my requests. Wonderful. Oh my. It says here, Tanaka's Amazing Commodities. It must be the prominent figure's autograph. I must say, he has a very beautiful penmanship. He must be as powerful as the rumors say. This man who rambles along to a unique melody. Marvelous. Hmm, I see that you've acquired a new bond in addition to the autograph. That is very good news indeed. Please take this as your reward. Oh, it wasn't 40,000. All right, it was uh, more item stuff. Mutatsu! <laughs> Let's hang out! That's right. They say men are supposed to be ballsy and women charming, but it's really the other way around, see? Well, if you're plenty attractive, anyone would open up to you. Hell yeah, Mutatsu! Good advice! Thanks, drunk dad! The trip to Yakushima begins today and will last for four days and three nights. Need to get ready. Whoa! Looks like we're finally coming up on the island! Hell yeah! Ya! Ku! Shi! Ma! Jeez, you sound like a little kid. Oh, he's just having fun. Personally, I'm ready for some training. I do wonder what kind of flora and fauna live there. 
That is a nice boat. Wow! It's like we're in an episode of the lifestyles of the rich and fabulous. Welcome back, milady. We won't be here long, but I'll be relying on you during our stay. You have maids? And you must be her associates from school, correct? Welcome to the Kirijo Vacation Home. Please, follow me. Associates? Dude, real life maids! I knew she was from an important family, but this definitely proves it. This proves it, not the fact that she could, like, lord over teachers and stuff, like, with no problem. Eye patch. <laughs> Impressive looking gentleman. It's good to see you. I heard the news. There isn't much here, but make yourselves comfortable. Get it, yeah! I, yes, sir. Her father? Early, you're a genius. It was so intense. And what's up with them wearing a suit in this kind of heat? What's wrong with that? We won't be here long, but make yourself at home. Sweet! This is gonna rock! Hey, wanna go to the beach? It's literally right there! Oh man! I'm so ready for this! Come on, let's go! What? We just got here. I mean, it's gonna take time to get changed and stuff. Then, I'll see you there. I'm not gonna waste a single minute. <laughs> He's just going for it. Ah, <sighs> sandals on. My feet a chance to breathe. Yep, summer's here. Darn, there's nothing out there I can use as a marker. Too bad. I was hoping for a good swim. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't expecting the t shirt though. I wasn't expecting the t shirt. Whoa, what's with that swimsuit? What do you mean? Dude, swim briefs? Nobody wants to see your junk. But they're better for swimming. You gotta be kidding. We come all the way to the beach, and you're gonna train? What's wrong with that? You got a better idea? Damn right I do! It's summertime at the beach! I've got the perfect activity. Wow. It's beautiful. Oh, hey, they're here. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, what are you looking at? Say hello to contestant number one, Yukari Takeba. That's quite a bold design. She's really strutting her stuff. Archery practice must do wonders for the self-esteem. Mm. If no one seems to have claimed the umbrellas around here, do you think we can go ahead and use them? Ooh, next up is contestant number two, Fuka Yamagishi! Wow, Fuka, uh, do you wear swimsuits often, or...? <laughs> oh, whoops, was it something I said? Didn't mean to embarrass you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, cut it out with that laugh, you creep. And for our final contestant of the day... What happened? Is something wrong? 
I... <laughs> Ma'am. <laughs> wow! Kirito-senpai, you're so beautiful! Is totally flawless. Hey, did you put on sunscreen already? N no, not yet. Well, we can't have that. You gotta put some on right now. Oh, can I help? Well, that's okay. I'll do it myself. Yo, dude! Dude! So, which one's your type? Okay, but all, all, everyone in this game is attractive. Yeah, like I believe that. Man, this is great. I'm in heaven. All right, I think it's about time for a swim. Have fun, oh, Jinfei. I'm not letting you win that easily. Oh, there they go. I feel uneasy <laughs> for some reason. Why do I feel uneasy? Someone's watching me? <laughs> it's cold! <laughs> the uneasy feeling went away? nothing <laughs> if we're we're probably fine i mean it's 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 okay right like what what could what could possibly go wrong if everything is is totally 100 percent fine it's okay i love you guys so much i hope you guys have a great night and i'll see you next time bye <laughs>